everyone, I'm Nathan and welcome back to PSLE Math 2021 Paper 2 Question Series and today I'll be going through Question 16. So let's get started. Okay, this is Question 16 and it is testing us on area and parameter and also slightly on visual thinking. Yeah, so a small circle with center O has been cut from circular piece of cardboard. Okay, a small circle. So this is the small circle, okay? Okay. The uh with has been cut from a circular piece of cardboard with the same center. The radius of the small circle is 8 cm. Okay, let me write that down. So from here to here is actually 8 cm. Okay, next. The remaining cardboard is then cut into four equal parts along the dotted lines. So the dotted line is basically this. These are the dotted lines over here. Okay? The four parts are then rearranged to form a new shape in figure 2. Okay, so this, so let me uh, call the cardboard as a shaded area. So the shaded area is basically uh, reformed into a new shape. Okay? So, find the area of the new shape. So they're asking us to find the area of the cardboard. Okay? The area of the cardboard. So basically, in order to do that, you can actually do this, which is way, 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 way more simpler. So basically, what you need to do is to take the area of the big circle, area of the big circle, circle, minus the area of the small circle okay so basically why am i telling that is because we are finding the cardboard area right so the cardboard area is basically the area of the big circle minus the area of the small circle which actually makes sense so that's why we do that but first we need to find the radius of the big circle because remember the formula of area of a circle which is actually pi r squared so they have they have asked us to take pi as 3.14 so it's basically 3.14 times radius square but we don't know the radius of the big circle so what we are what i'm going to do is to actually use the second figure because they have given us this information about 42 cm so let me just fill this up for you guys so this is 8 cm This is 8 cm. This is 8 cm because these are the small circles of uh, radiuses. And this is also 8 cm over here. So you see these two extra lines over here. So let me highlight this part for you. You see these highlighted parts? These two parts are actually the, the lines that we need in order to find the radius of the big circle. So what I'm going to do is to actually take 42 minus these four eights and it will give us 10. 10 divided by 2, it will give us 5 for each side. So the radius of the big circle is actually 8 plus 5, which will give us 13 cm. Okay? So now that we know that, the area of the new shape is basically area of big circle minus the area of small circle. So we can do that. So this is the area of the big circle, 3.14 times 13 square minus area of small circle, which is 3.14 times 8 square, which will give us the answer of 329.7 cm square. Okay? Now let's do the second part of the question, part B. Find the perimeter of the new shape. Okay. The perimeter of the new shape. Okay, let me erase whatever I've written over here. So the perimeter of the new shape. Okay, do you remember uh, what is uh, the formula for circumference of a circle? It's basically pi d, okay? Pi d means uh, pi times diameter. So, we need to find the perimeter which is basically one small arc, two small arc, three small arc, four small arcs because this small arc is equal to this small arc over here. And then one big arc, two big arcs, three big arcs, and four big arcs. 
So this uh, this is basically one big arc, okay, over here. And we also need to add 5 cm and 5 cm here, because since we found this length to be 5 cm, it's actually constant throughout. It's 5 cm everywhere for that lines, okay. So the perimeter is basically four big arcs and four small arcs plus 5 cm plus 5 cm, which is basically 10 cm. So basically is circumference of big circle and circumference of small circle plus 10 cm. So in order to find the perimeter of the new shape, we just need to find four big arcs plus four small arcs plus five plus five. So this is basically the circumference of the big circle because it's four big arcs mixed one circle. Okay, so 3.14 times 26, which is basically 13 times 2 because diameter is basically two times of the radius plus 3.14 times 16 because diameter is two times of the radius in this case 8 times 2 plus the 10 and this should give us our perimeter of the new shape okay so it actually gives us 141.88 cm as the answer okay so i hope you understood my explanation for this question for question 16 and thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.